Hey what's going on guys in today's video I will show you how to clone a virtual machine from a VMware workstation to a physical computer like this. You can see it does not have an operating system at the moment. Procedure is the same if you want to clone from a virtual machine onto a desktop PC. So for this you'll need two things you'll need a external hard drive and you'll need a USB flash drive. So one thing I'd like to point out here is that you need to download the appropriate drivers for the uh, computer which you're cloning onto. So for example, I'm cloning onto this Acer laptop here. I have all the appropriate drivers for this particular model. Uh, you need to do this before you clone the operating system on over there because uh, you need to have these drivers otherwise sometimes the wireless or the uh, network card will not work on the laptop and you'll be just stuck with a operating system which does not have any external connectivity so download these drivers beforehand before you begin the clone cloning process and it'll just make your life easier alright guys so here we are this was a question asked to me by Liger Zero can I clone a VM to a PC well yes you can I found out a way to do this uh, I couldn't find any proper videos on YouTube explaining it, so I thought I'll make a new video. So the first thing you need to do is download and install Macrium Reflect Free. Click on Home Use and click on the downloaded file. The, and by the way, this you have to do inside the virtual machine. You can see I'm working inside the virtual machine, Windows 7, and the uh, host operating system is Windows 10. So inside the virtual machine download this and install it alright so now once the Macrium Reflect software is installed we gotta plug in the USB drive and the removable drive on the uh, PC so here we go and it should automatically show up it should automatically show up in the uh, virtual machine as you can see over here the following devices can be connected to this virtual machine using the status bar so if it does not show up like it isn't showing up right now click on this player drop down menu go to removable devices go to sony storage media which is the usb drive which i've just plugged in connect and you'll see it shows up over here there you go and the same thing I'm going to do to the Western Digital removable hard drive there we go and it's not necessary that the removable hard drive needs to be empty you see some files are there doesn't matter so now we can go ahead and run the uh, reflect software And yes, we need to create a rescue media so that we can boot up the uh, laptop from the USB disk. So go to other tasks, select the first option which says create rescue media. Click on next, next, click on next again. We don't need to update that and select the second option which says USB device, the Sony storage media. And you click on finish. And now you can see it is the virtual machine is copying the recovery files onto the removable disk we can which we will use to start the restoration process on this laptop. Alright, so now moving on to the second part, we need to create a image of this C drive, which is this one. So select this and select the second option which says image this disk. Select where you want the uh, image to be stored. I'm going to store it on my Western Digital Drive. Click on OK. Then click on Next. Click on Next again and then finish and now we gotta wait as you can see here the virtual machine is creating a snapshot of the operating system onto the removable disk over here 
which is connected to the host PC. Alright, the imaging process is now complete. We can go ahead and close it. So now the imaging process is complete. We can go ahead and disconnect the removable devices from the virtual machine. And disconnect it from the physical computer. We can go ahead and pull this off. And plug it into the laptop. Alright, so I'm going to plug in the external hard drive. Also, I'm going to plug in the USB drive. This contains the uh, recovery software, the Macrium Reflect software. And I'm going to press Control or Delete. So when the computer is starting up, you need to enter the uh, boot menu for this laptop the F12 key is the uh, boot menu so that's my hard drive this is the uh, USB this is the USB hard drive and this is the flash drive which we need to boot from so here we go you can see it is loading files from the flash drive Here we are. Right, so now what we gotta do is select this option, browse for an image file, go to computer, go to the elements, which is this drive and select the uh, recovery image which is this one it'll be the one which has this little drive icon so I'm gonna double click that and over here we need to select restore image so select this and select a disk to restore to this is my internal hard drive with Sahitashi 232 gigabyte 250 gigabyte hard drive select this click on next and then click on finish and the uh, recovery process will start so right now it's reading the virtual image off of the portable hard drive and copying it onto the internal hard drive of the laptop alright guys you can see the cloning process is complete I'm gonna close this and before you actually close this Macrium Reflect program you need to go to this restore task and select the first option fix boot fix windows boot problems select your operating system and click next it is installed on the internal hard drive make sure that is selected click on finish and the program will fix any boot problems if they are there asking me to restart the PC just click on no now we're going to exit the program Just gonna switch this off and remove the USB hard drive and the recovery uh, USB pen drive and I'm going to start the laptop up. And I'm guessing Windows should boot up no problem. One problem you may come across when you boot your computer for the first time after cloning is that the computer blue screens and basically you just can't boot into Windows so to fix that you need to enter the BIOS and change the SATA mode from IDE mode to AHCI mode and that should fix your blue screen problem also another problem you may come across on newer laptops like these is that the uh, laptop can't recognize the internal hard drive even though you've successfully cloned onto the internal hard drive so to fix that you need to change the uh, 
boot mode from UEFI to legacy and that'll fix your hard drive problem so yeah uh, this is one problem I came across while I was cloning onto this newer machine and another problem I came across was this was set to IDE mode so ASCI mode and you need to set the boot mode to legacy and then it'll work then you'll be able to successfully boot uh, from the uh, cloned image onto the internal hard drive Alright, that took a fair bit of time, it took around 5 minutes, but we are on to the desktop. You can see it's installing drivers itself. And this will take time because it's a completely new hardware. See, one by one it is installing. Alright, I gave it a restart and the sound seems to work fine, but the uh, Wi-Fi and the Ethernet port does not work. So this is why I said uh, you need to download the drivers beforehand inside the virtual machine uh, before you transfer it onto a physical computer. Fortunately, I have all the drivers already downloaded beforehand, which I did on the virtual machine and they are in my downloads folder. So now go to device manager. You can see Ethernet controller is there which is not working. Click on update driver, browse my computer manually. Go to the location where you have downloaded the drivers. Go to Acer DRV, click OK, include subfolders. Click on next and it should be able to find the appropriate drivers for this laptop. And there you go, it is installing the appropriate driver. There you have it. And I'm going to do the same for PCI Simple Communications Controller. See if it's able to find And this is how you install the drivers one by one, whichever is missing. I'm guessing this is the Wi-Fi. And there you go, the wireless adapter has been installed. And it is showing all of the wireless connections, which wasn't working previously. And now you can see we are connected to the internet. And once you're connected to the internet, the uh, Windows update will automatically take care of all the drivers, you can see. The Intel HD driver is ready to be downloaded. Alright, after a restart you can see the video driver is now installed. Inter internet is working, everything is working fine. You can see Intel HD graphics and Bluetooth is also working. And yeah, again, this is the exact same operating system which is also running on the virtual machine over here on this computer. Exact same thing. You can see it in the computer name. Also, another problem you'll come across is the disk size. It's 60 gigabytes over here and also here it will be 60 gigabytes and we need to resize that. You can see it over here. So to resize that, go to manage, right click on my computer and go to manage, go to disk management, right click on this blue hard drive and select extend volume, click on next, click on next again and click on finish. Now you can see we are here. Now you can see we are able to use the full 256 gigabyte of the internal hard drive. So there you have it guys. It is working fine. This is how you clone a virtual machine onto a physical computer. 
so thank you guys for watching if you do have any questions feel free to ask me and i'll see you guys next time